you look here and here, you can see it's rutting into the spinal artery in the L5 area, plus all this extra dural growth, and I'm surprised it hasn't caused permanent ischemia. Did you dismetter the beast biliar and also the idiot? He says you don't need to talk in whispers. He knows he doesn't have a chance. Your father appreciates candor. We both do. Well, then tell him I'm very sorry, but he's not a candidate for surgery. Papa, lui è come gli altri. Non lo farà. The way the tumor is situated on the spine, it's just not possible to remove it. Non ci proverà? Perché? He wants to know why you won't try. Because what your father is looking for is not a surgical procedure. What he is looking for is a miracle. Signore, non sono venuto fino a qui per lei. Sono venuto qui per il suo figlio. He said, I did not come all this way for you, sir. I came for him. Miss Bisoni, I, uh... You fixed a woman with a crushed spinal column. An impossible surgery. And now she walks, yes? I consulted many medical journals before making this trip here. Then you should know it was a very different case under very different circumstances. But a miracle, right? Look, everything that my father's saying, the, the risks, the unlikelihood, he's, he's absolutely right. But will you try? I'll have to admit him in the next couple of weeks, run some tests. La ringrazio tantissimo. I thought you'd gone home. My home is a hotel room. I like it more here. <laughs> I think you need to find a better hotel. You didn't answer my question. His counts aren't where I'd like them to be. You've been doing tests for a month now, Jack. I'm thorough. I have a confession to make. I don't believe in miracles. Yeah. I guess I'm not too sure about them either. I bet your wife feels differently. Your wife. She's the woman you fixed, isn't she? Yes. I'm thorough too. She must be a very special person to let you work until 4.30 in the morning. <sighs> Completely lost track of it. I've got to... May you excuse me? Yes, of course. Go. And Jack? Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Good night. Good night. Hey. How was he? Hey. Sorry, wake up. Uh, I gotta get up anyway. So how is he? About the same. Sarah, I'm sorry. I meant to. 
I just got... Hey. That's the price of being a miracle worker. Where are you going? I gotta go to the gym, and then I got some papers to grade. I didn't want to say anything until I knew either way, but, um, I was late, so I got a pregnancy test. Tori. about it? What's to talk about? <sighs> Sarah, I... See you later, Jack. It's not too late to go back. Tumor is aggressive, but your father could lead a very normal life for at least another year. Go back? Go back where? Home? Have you changed your mind, Jack? No. No. Is that it? Even if you don't succeed, you're giving us a chance. That's all we wanted. I'll come out and check on you before I scrub in. Okay. Am I interrupting? No, I was just leaving. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. ITR reports need to be signed by you as chief resident. What? Careful. There's a line sign. You know it's there. Pretending it's not, that would be a mistake. Guess you would know. Maybe okay for some people, Jack, but not for you. Jack! And I had it! I know, son. I got it! I got it all! I mean, I had it! He was a sick old man on the table for seven and a half hours. His heart gave out. It's nobody's fault. I've gotta go tell her. Yeah, well, I've already done that. Lest you forget, I am still chief of surgery. Where is she? Maybe you should go home. Where is she? She's gone. Jack. Go home.
Jack. Gabriella. My father told me that you'd gone. I, uh... I, uh... Thank you. Thank you for trying. Hey. Hey. How did it go? He died. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Who was over? My mom. The bridge game okay? Oh yeah, she's on a streak. Did you uh did you eat? Yeah. No, no, it's uh it's late. You don't have to do that. It's therapeutic. Cheaper than a shrink. How did the daughter take it? What's her name, Gabriella? She kissed me. Yeah, she... She kissed me and... I kissed her back. I... I don't know. I, I don't know how it happened. I just... I made a mistake. I made a mistake and, and this is my fault. It's my fault that you and me... I haven't been here, Sarah. I mean, we don't even talk anymore. I hate what's happening to us, and I promise you that things are gonna be different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work less. I'm gonna be here for you. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. We're gonna go back to the way things were. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this. I'm leaving you. What? I was already leaving you. That's why my mother was here. She was helping me back. I've been seeing someone. Someone else. I have to. I can't stay. Sarah. You. You will always need something to fix.
Jack Shepard. I'm here. Where's your lawyer? You look pretty. Where's your lawyer? I fired him. Sarah. I'm sorry for, for pushing us to this place. I, I know that I... Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, no, not yet. He, he just got here. Jack, I'm going to say this as simply as I can. What's his name? Jack, stop I'm it. not going to stop it. I'm going to keep asking you that until you tell no, me. No, I don't ask you what Just he's doing. Just tell me that. what his name is. I want to know who he is. Look, you can have everything. The cars, the house, I don't care. I just, I just want to know the name of the man that is with my wife. Yeah, hi. Uh, I met a, a woman on the train, Sarah, and uh, she dropped her cell phone, and I don't even know her last name, but your number was in her phone, so I, I was just wondering. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. Hey. Just give me a minute, Dad. I asked you to give me a minute here. What's this? Why are you dialing all the numbers on Sarah's cell phone? Because one of them is him. You gotta stop this, Jack. It's over. Not until I know his name, where he works, where he lives, when they first kissed. I wanna know what it is about him. Why is Sarah calling you, Dad? I think it's time that you let this go. Why is she calling me? Because she was afraid, Dad, for you. I want to know exactly why the hell she would she call you. She could see that you were slipping. You were losing your grip. My grip is not the problem. Which is exactly what's happening here. Jack, come I think I know a little something about being obsessive. No. Being a drunk is not obsessive. Let it go, Jack. Let's take out the epidural catheter and get him started on a PCA. You sure he's ready to self-administer his pain meds? <laughs> Dr. Shepard. Jack? Give me your cell phone. What? 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 I want to see it. Now. Look where you are, Jack. I mean, just look around you, please. Okay. Give me the phone. 
This is not the place for this. You must be Jack. Why don't you uh, grab a chair and join us? You, you know me. Yes. Your father's told us all about you. Yeah, what's he told you about me? What'd you tell him about me, Dad? That your, your son never really had it? Not like the old man. I didn't have the will to make it work. My, my life, my job, my marriage. What'd you tell him about my marriage, Dad? You know how he manages his marriage? A bottle of scotch every night before dinner. Your father has been sober 50 days now. We're very proud of that. Wow, Dad. I wonder what, what helped you turn that corner. You think maybe it was a, a new lady friend? You think maybe that's what I'm I doing? will not let you talk to I me. I will Just not let you sleep with my wife. Oh, Jack. Jack, I'm your father. Jack, please, just let it go. Shepard, someone posted your bail. How'd you, uh... Your dad told me you were here. I called you a cab. So, um, goodbye. Sarah. What? Is that him? What difference does it make? It just does. It's not going to change Look, anything. I want to know. I need to know who he is. It doesn't matter who he is. It just matters who you're not. Jack, your father, when he called me to help you, he was so drunk I could hardly understand him. Falling. She's bleeding out. No, I've got the artery almost there. She's in arrest. One milligram epi. Let's get the crash card over here. All right, artery sealed. Close her up. He said. Charged? Charged. Clear. Charged? We're charged. Clear. Come on. Come on back now. Come on. Come on back. Come on. Call it. Come on, baby. Come back. Come back. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on now. You can do this. Come on. Come on. Call it, Jack. It's over. Call it. Thought I'd see the day, Jack. 
barge into my OR, you work on my patient. You didn't have to do this procedure. I don't have to do anything. <sighs> yeah, of course you don't. I chose to do this procedure, this emergency procedure, because when this girl crashed in the ER, they called me. I was right upstairs. And you should have stayed upstairs. And how did you find out? One of the nurses it? came to get me. Who? Oh, thank God I have you and some anonymous nurse to rescue me. She told me that your hands were shaking. My hands were not. You cut her hepatic artery. She was she in a car crash, her. Jack. Her insides were a mess. You made a mistake. They called me. Not I don't you. care whether or not they called you. You made a mistake. Are you lecturing me? You tell me. Uh, if you were upstairs and I was in a restaurant having lunch, then why did they call me? How many drinks did you have at lunch, Dad? Oh, thanks for coming in, Jack. Have a seat. What's it say? The truth. That a patient was brought to the ER following a car accident, rushed into surgery with massive internal bleeding. You joined me, and in spite of our most heroic efforts, the patient succumbed to her injuries. Looks like you fixed everything but the patient. You had no business being in OR. You really think I would have walked in there if I couldn't handle it? You've done it before. That's right, I have, because I am perfectly capable of making How those... How can you say that after what happened yesterday? The problem is not... You were impaired. I know my limits. I won't sign this. You were part of a team, Jack. I'm not the only one on the hook for this. You called me off. You were the surgeon of record when she died. Look, accidents happen in surgeries all the time, Jack. That's the truth, and you know it. But if you contradict this report, if you mention alcohol, well, that's the only fact that's going to matter. They'll strip me of my license. Yes, they will. I know I have been hard on you. But that is how you make a soft metal into steel. That is why you are the most gifted young surgeon in this city. I mean, this, this is a career that is all about the greater good. I've had to sacrifice certain aspects of my relationship with you so that hundreds and thousands of patients will live because of your extraordinary skills. given this, this is not just about my career jack
Thank you, son. Thank you. Dr. Shepard? Andrea. Andrea. That man that my father's talking to, who is that? That's her husband. He's threatening to sue. that her blood pressure was was continuing to drop precipitously at which point the patient went into cardiac arrest of course every effort was made to resuscitate her but the severity of her injuries the amount of internal bleeding made that impossible now in my professional opinion ladies and gentlemen and that's all I have by the time I was called in the damage was irreversible Okay. Thanks, Christian. Sorry about this formality. Of course. Just one final detail. You were aware of the patient's pregnancy when you went into the procedure. Absolutely. The patient's husband had informed the attending in the ER. It was, however, extremely early in the pregnancy, so our primary focus had to be on the mother. Okay, then. I think we're done here. A final report will be filed. I need to <clears throat> revise my statement. I didn't come into the OR until well into the procedure. Jack. I was warned by one of the nurses that my father was operating under the influence. Jack, this is not By the time the I got there, it was clear that my father was not only incapacitated, but that he had also severed the patient's hepatic artery, which in my professional opinion caused the crisis which led to her death. 